Mm-hmm. 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 We are live. We are live. Alive, alive. Alive. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> okay. Um, let's wait for some people to join. <clears throat> I will I will make a nice thumbnail for the video. Give me a second. Seven, three, two, one. Okay. It's with, with 47 centimeters bicep. 40 centimeter bicep, yes. <laughs> or 33. 33. <laughs> that's, more, more, that's more realistic. <laughs> How much is your bicep? I'm not sure. It could be, could, be, could, be, could be close to 40, maybe. I don't know. No, not was, more. I think it was 39. Yeah. We, we did with Ma- Michael, uh, Michael Todd measured it when we did the BMF workout. Didn't you measure your vice that or maybe <laughs> that's that's more impressive. <laughs> more aggressive. Yeah, aggressive. Aggressive, impressive. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who cares? Who cares? It's uh I don't I don't care if, if, if it's 30 centimeter arm, but if, if it's if that's arm are pinning everyone, who cares? 30, 25 or 35 centimeters, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's yeah. arm wrestling not bodybuilding no it's of course it's uh it's sometimes scary and and uh and one more time i would say impressive when you have uh, our arms uh, like arnold but uh from other side it's it's no big difference if, if you are uh, if you are focusing on strength so you say the Big bicep is not that important. <laughs> strong bicep, that's important. <laughs> and not only bicep, strong, strong elbow flexors. Yeah. Maybe even maybe even bicep is not the strongest one in arm wrestling. So before we wait for give us some good question, guys. But um before that, uh today was rush uh, russian nationals first part so left arm just left arm so tomorrow is right arm and finals um yeah it was it was just a qualification today just qualification so uh so not just qualification it was uh they they get to two best uh, best arm wrestlers so so top top two from left arm and uh, all qualification and finals for right arm will be tomorrow Mm-hmm. And uh, finals for left and arm, right arm will be both together tomorrow, as I understood. Understood from yeah. from uh, Yekaterina Larina, or how was her uh, surname right now? Katya said, uh, af, af, uh, af, 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 yeah, Afonina, yeah, like Yekaterina Larina. Yeah, she said that the finals will be tomorrow, and uh, both left left arm and uh, right arm. Yeah. So for everyone, like to get like the final Russian championship is to get on national team for Europeans and worlds. So to get on that national team, like, like say if I'm wrong, Jans, but first you have to win the city that you're living in. So yeah, local small one. Yeah. And then two people from that city goes to regions, regionals. And if you and two people from region goes to the to the finals in that's the national goes to the Russian nationals, Russian yeah. nationals. Yeah, but, but like finals, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And just two from those go to Europe and worlds. So yeah. the you have to beat a lot of people to to get there and a lot of tough people. So yeah, yeah. And I, I watch. I watch his starting lists in in many class. There are more than forty competitors. I saw in ninety kilo, in hundred kilo, more than forty competitors. Uh, just like uh, two 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 arm wrestlers from each region, like two from Moscow, yeah. two from Saint Petersburg, two from Dagestan, two from uh, uh, Ossetia, and it's it's crazy. It's it's uh, so many big names in 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 those cl- classes and. Uh, and even today, I watched like uh, 
a lot of uh, former world champions are out of uh, not even top three, out of top six, out of top ten, and uh, and you see you see so many talents, and uh, it's it's crazy. Uh, it is it is uh, biggest nationals I know, and it's it's. Uh, it's not. I think it's 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 by far strongest uh, nationals like level average level. If if we if we are looking for average level, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. To just to get to national championship, you you have to win so many people. You know, you have to be much better than anyone else. And this is why so so many times, like you can go to some like we, uh, I, I forgot the. Russian name. He won 65 Europe or something at one one time, and he got nine in the local tournament. Later, I forgot. <laughs> it's like the same year, and I'm I'm like, what happened? Like you, he's like, no, I was good. Guys were just better, you know. He was European champ that time, so the level is so crazy right there. Um, okay, so we have some questions. Let's start with one tomorrow. Uh, Lachlan and Milkman will face off. You think Lachlan will win that number one spot in Australia? Uh, you ask me? Yeah. Uh, I, it's it's uh, arm wrestling is arm wrestling. Like every fr- fight, you can never know. But uh, in in uh, in my understanding, Lachlan is favorite. And uh, when when I was in Australia, uh, already that time I saw them both quite even. Of course, it's it's. Uh, it's uh, it's styles, it's uh, it's uh, some uh, differences, but I, I see Lockman as a favorite, and and right now two years later, uh, I I have I haven't seen much from uh, Ryan Scott and he's good uh, good strong it's experienced arm wrestler, but uh, Lockman is getting stronger and stronger every day, and uh, I will be quite surprised if uh, if Ryan will win actually. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm, but uh, that's that's it's 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 uh, it's impossible to compare. It's uh, yeah, we just don't don't have the data. We don't have yeah. data. We don't have if, if, yeah. If 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 uh, if if there there uh, for example, last time when Ryan Scott competed, it was uh, almost two years ago, and then and, and similarly with uh, Lockland, I think it's Lottie two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Yep. So almost almost a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah, hard to compare. If there would be three tournaments or tournament every second month, and you can you can see how, how training is going, how uh, how they are competing on table in in yeah. real. But I, <clears throat> but that's, so I, I think that's just uh, is impression. Of course, uh, social media is strong, and, and and you can watch videos and see like ah, oh, it's crazy lift, some uh, crazy numbers, and and uh, Lockland is physically one of strongest arm wrestlers I have ever seen. Uh, those those uh, lifts he's doing, those strength results are are top results in the world. I think between any arm wrestler. And uh, of course, uh, arm wrestling is arm wrestling. It's not only about uh, how much you can lift, but uh, from other side, it's it's meaning something. And uh, and uh, weights weights are not lying. Kilos are not lying. If if you, if you can if you can lift a uh, hundred kilo, and other one can. Of course, I don't know how much uh, Ryan Scott can lift, but uh, but uh, I have I have seen what what Lockland can do, and uh, that's impressive. And I have said that before, but uh, it's uh, arm wrestling is uh, how how you can coordinate all together, how you can put all those things together. Uh, do you have some weak links, and uh, you have to like uh, use that uh, strength you have gained in gym, uh, use it on table. That's that's maybe maybe some uh, some. Uh, a few years ago, that was a problem for for Lockland, but he he's getting better as an arm wrestler as well. Not before he was mainly like power lifter, and and right now he's getting stronger and better as arm wrestler as well. And uh, I see that he has find uh, his angles, he has find his uh, positions, and I think it will be very hard for uh, Ryan Scott to do to do uh, much against. Lockland, but we will see that very soon. Yeah, yeah, it's it should be. 
I don't know, today for them, it's today. <laughs> so for us tomorrow, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, 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 I believe uh, I will be extremely surprised if Lachlan doesn't win. He looks so, so strong. So like those numbers really don't lie. So yeah. Um, also, Travis Bajan and Michael Todd are having a match. So I don't think that's a real match. You know, I just think, you know, <laughs> There, there are some dates set already today. Some, today, hmm. they made okay. a poster about it and everything. Right arm, right arm, Michael. Right arm, yeah, yeah. Because because left arm, left arm. Uh, not not that uh, Michael is terrible, but he's not <laughs> great with left hand. And uh, at least at least uh, after after he he get injured uh, when he pulled against. Uh, uh, Bartolotto, but uh, yeah, 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 and the uh, right arm, yeah, but mm-hmm. I, I, don't, I don't think that's a real match for sure. Uh, they just you know, they they are Michael is there, they're filming some stuff, and that just I think that's a great idea. And <laughs> Travis is a no, great uh, actor with, with Travis, with Travis, uh, Travis need need a real match, need a real motivation. And I, I, I would like to see Travis against uh, Devon, Travis against uh, Michael Todd, when, when Travis is really ready and he's motivated. Because yeah. uh, Travis is an who who can, who, who can uh, make, make uh, big damage in, in a heavyweight division in the USA, and he has done it for 20 years. And... Uh, and uh, Maybe maybe that's what what actually is missing for the last few years in USA, because we, we see just uh, Travis, we see we see, see just uh, Devon, we see Jerry, we, we see Michael. We need some, something else, and then we haven't seen uh, okay Dave Chappie as well. Yeah, uh, we have we did, maybe, Travis, Travis last time 2000 I think uh, 17 was last time when, when he really pulled against uh, he won against uh, Dave Chappie in world qualification. So yeah. it's almost almost four four years ago. Mm. Yeah, not yeah. I think not, not it just not that much, but uh, still I'm, I'm not taking years. it seriously. I, I'm not taking it seriously. How, however yeah. good it looks. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you think worlds will take place this year? I'm optimistic. <laughs> mm. I I hope so. I hope so, but. Uh, it's uh, it's hard to predict with all that situation involved what will happen after uh, like a week or, or months. So uh, what will happen up, half to, up, uh, happen after a half year? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Right now we, we don't even know when our national is going to be. You know, and uh, if if it doesn't matter the con- like it, it it should happen in Georgia and if Georgians say out oh yeah green light everyone can come and no one cannot go out you know so plus you know I don't know I I don't feel like it's gonna happen I feel like um, more about super match pulling because it's easier to make for anyone you know you can go to different countries and just do one on one and it's much easier than have. 1.5 thousand people come to your country and just everyone's touching hands, you know, everyone's together. I don't know how you can manage that. Yeah, but it's it's okay. Russian nationals are today and there are at least, uh, at least, I don't know, 500 or more athletes, probably more. Yeah. But it's Russian. <laughs> but it's Russian. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's what's the system is there for how how it's working there, you know. Because a few weeks before it was Ukrainian nationals, yeah, also also Polish nationals. So uh, some competitions are happening, and hmm. yeah, uh, Jan is who do you think is the best seventy-five kilo left hand puller in in, in the world, in your opinion? Hmm. Last uh, world champion, WAF world champion, reigning world champion, uh, Michigan Shamir. Michigan Shamir. Yeah. 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 Not, not because uh, uh, it's uh, you like like uh, it's almost it's almost two years without real real uh, serious serious competitions. It's it's hard it's hard to say who who is at number one right now. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, yeah. we don't know. Not yeah, enough data. Yeah, yeah, more competition. Then we will know. 
Yeah, but uh, potentially, potentially Meshgad Shamil, potentially Talget, but Talget is uh, what, what I hear is he's heavier right now. Probably, probably he's 80 or more kilos. Yeah. Uh, the one who will win Russian nationals uh, left arm tomorrow. So uh, I think in 75 kilos in final, it's uh, Artur Makarov. Who is not so great with left arm? His right arm is is is, is much stronger, but he is in final. Yeah, he and wasn't think, that great. Maybe maybe he upped the level. You know, maybe. Yeah. 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 Who, who who don't know? Arthur Makaro uh, broke his left arm uh, 2012 in uh, World Championship in Brazil when he was a junior at that time. Yeah. I remember. Uh, I remember uh, he was sitting with ice packs and then and then. And, and, Holds his arms and those arms was huge already at that time and I and I told that because of that uh, injury but <laughs> no, I, I I thought maybe some I don't know hematoma or, or Some, something <laughs> something's going on like yeah, yeah. yeah those arms are huge already they're then. like no 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 it's fine <laughs> he was like no, that. But, but he yeah he, he broke his his left arm in a in a rough world in 2012 I think it was junior junior classes at time and uh, he's in final. And if I'm not mistaken, he's in final with uh, uh, youngest generation of uh, Zaluyo family. family with, oh. With, with, oh. I, th I think that uh, his left arm final in, uh, if, I, if I'm not wrong, I, I should check because, because I, was, I was watching that class, but I was, I was in work and uh, I was watching with one eye and then <laughs> corner, but at, at least, uh, at least, uh, that's what I. That's what I. What I think. Uh, Arthur, Arthur Makayo, Makaro had a loss in a qualification in early round. He lost against uh, Misha Ribianko. Ribianko. I don't don't remember. But uh, later, Misha lost to another a uh, few, few other fights and finished just I think uh, uh, ten or eleven. And then and uh, Os Osetinian, who was who was uh, last year's buff world. Well, third place, finished third place. He lost in the semifinal to Arthur Makaro. So Arthur is in the final and, and I think with, uh, with uh, uh, Zaluyo brother, with youngest Zaluyo, with youngest brother, Kajumurat's brother. Yeah. Kajumurat pulled it with left arm as well, but uh, as we know, his left arm is not so good as right. And, and he has been successful with left before. He has been a few times in uh, WAF uh, Europe and also Waff balls and, and European in top three, but uh, in 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 last few years he's left not so good, and I think he he lost first two rounds and finished at maybe maybe thirty or twenty eight. Yeah, in 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 Russia they do both arm systems, so you have to compete with both. You can compete with one arm, but uh, you will get points for each arm. And there's a total. There isn't left like there is champion on the left and champion on right, but there's like overall winner in in each class. So just one medal. There isn't like two medals. So uh, Zaluya usually <laughs> pulls him for past. I don't know how many years. He usually like second place because he wins right arm almost all all the time, but uh, left is just you know taking it back. Um, question for Giannis. What would happen if more European pullers go to WL? Would Americans have any chance? Uh, of course, of course. It's 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 not so uh, it's 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 not so big difference like uh, Europeans some uh, I don't know light year ahead of something. It's 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 uh, armistling is armistling everywhere in Europe in in USA in in, in Asia and and it's and it's growing and. Uh, I, be I believe that also if more Europeans would go to you while well, uh, that level of armistling in the USA would grow as well. Like uh, when you when you have some competition, it's it's pushing each other forward, and uh, and uh, it's not so like uh, I'm I'm just saying that if if you ask me who are like top three lightweights right now in in the world, I, I would name uh, probably three Europeans or or. or or uh, also someone from Kazakhstan, which is Asia. But uh, I'm not saying that uh, USA is not able to 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 fight against Europe. It's it's best best uh, lightweights uh, from USA like uh, Jeff Hale and then Sam Harris and uh, okay uh, Tony Kitowski is not lightweight anymore or or, or uh, Justin B Justin uh, 
bishop, but uh, still they 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 can pull, I believe, with with uh, Europeans in event in good day. Yeah. But uh, I would love to see more Europeans in uh, pulling in WAL. I always about uh, best competition. I hate to go to any competition, for example, Waff Balls, if I if I if I know that there are uh, no best arm wrestlers there. I, I for example, my, my I, I want to win a waltz and and I want that all best are here, not uh, win and be best in the world and know that uh, top ten arm wrestlers are uh, sitting at home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I, I think like. Matt Mask versus Hermes Gasparini showed it perfectly. You know, when you are, uh, first of all, not ready for the rules, you will have some problems. It uh, doesn't matter how great you are. Uh, it's not like uh, it's a whitewash, but the problem is, like, USA has a lot of great pullers. The problem is they're not, not we are not competing together. Like, they are not going to Waff World Champion. They're not coming to Zloty. And we are not going for Arnold's all the time there or, you know, any other tournament. If there would be more of this cross arm wrestling, we would have a better picture of everything. Because right now, if you just don't compete on that level on Zloty Tour and, or, or, or Waff, you kind of don't know the level. More you compete, better you, I, I believe, better you will get because you know the level you are chasing. You know, if you beat everyone in USA, there's no challenges left, and you come come here and get 16th place. And like, you know, it's it's not that you're bad. You're just not used to. So yeah, more more, more coming over would be interesting. You know, for Europeans going there and as well as uh, USA. So. Let's hope that uh, we can somehow fix this situation. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is the where is that? What is the match you you would like to see? So many. <laughs> so oh many. sure. Yeah, like sure. like everyone versus everyone. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could. Uh, like, I I love the like someone said um, Todd Hutchings versus Gasparini. Um, that would be great. Yeah. I don't want to see like two top rollers or top roller versus top roller. Ah, like hook versus top roll is more interesting, you know, or two hook pullers or, or you can, you can have like Bojidar pulling with uh, any great hook puller, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That match would be really great. You know, uh, if we talk about U Europe, USA again, like uh, uh, best 1995 kilo Europeans against RVG. Sasha, like, uh, Sasha, Sasha, RBJ, yeah, yeah, Sasha or Rustam or, or Artyom Tainov, uh, some potential, potentially great fights. Uh, uh, Sam Harris, of course. Uh, me against Sam Harris. Uh, in the August, our side is against uh, Sam. That would be fun to watch. Uh, Justin, Justin Bishop, uh, probably against uh, you. 80, 85, someone from 80, maybe, maybe Plumbing, Plumbing Dimitro, both, both good top rollers, good, good hand controls, or, or maybe just, just, Justin against, uh, uh, some, someone from, uh, from Russian, maybe Tautio, maybe, maybe, uh, there's so many, so many, like, yeah. there's, like, there are, <clears throat> there are these guys that, are, are meaning in competition, but I would really love to see a super match. Like Sasha versus Prudnik. Like Sasha versus everyone in a super match would be great. But uh, Haji Murat versus Rustam Babayev, you know, those are the, like, we see those matches, but I would love to see a super match when they're really fresh, you know, and for six rounds and see how that end up. You know, uh, that would be... But one of my all-time favorite wishes of like, please make that happen. That would be that would be interesting thing. Um, there's a question. Um, yeah, does Michael's Michael Stodd art arm handle actually hit pronation? Um, Giannis, you you haven't used the art arm. We have something similar, but it doesn't hit pronation. To hit pronation, you need the power becoming or tension coming from one side or at least having more. As if it's evened out, you know, you, you can put it out. It's still it's still holding you here. So you need it to be from one side. 
So you can set it up like to be on pronation, but uh, like Michael is doing more on back pressure. He's just falling into pronation. So he's more, more dragging, more yeah. pulling, more back pressure. Yeah. 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 Okay. What else? Where do you think Morozov's level is? Morozov from uh, Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know Morozov. I, I would love to see him pull in Zloty or whatever. He looks so strong. He he won he won against uh, Artif from uh, from uh, Turkey in a super match in Nomad Armistling League, and it it was uh, it was it was uh, so so dominant, so so uh, so impressive that. Uh, but, I, but again, uh, who knows what shape uh, Arif was? I, I don't know yeah. like how strong. But but we know that uh, again, yeah, 2000. He won Serrano as well. In yeah, Europe. yeah, yeah. 2019, uh, Waf, Waf, uh, world champ, yeah. world champion, right arm. Okay, right arm as in as they pulled left arm. Okay, but he was he was in final with left anyway. He was in line, a final with uh, with 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 God, God, uh, with uh, from USA heavyweight uh, Cody Cody, Cody Merritt. Merritt. Oh, Art 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 Artif. Uh, Artif, yes. yes, he was in final. So so uh, running off his left arm and 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 uh, Morozov won with Geranov, yeah. And Geranov is uh, one of, one of those arm wrestlers who who uh, who looking better and better lately as well. He won against uh, even Matushenko in the rough Worlds. He won in Lotoshino in Russia, 2020 in, in the spring. Just, just, uh, just uh, holding Hajjum Mazaluya in open class final, and and actually, actually, looked like he, he could pin him in a second, but he was just holding and uh, wanted to see how strong he is. So uh, it's uh, you. You can just guess. You can just guess how strong. Yeah, right now, right now, we're just he guessing. is. But uh, to to say that. To say that uh, he's uh, somewhere somewhere in uh, top ten overall in the world, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. That's 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 why armistling is interesting, and uh, that's that's why in, uh, it's it's impossible to predict. But uh, definitely, his previous fights and his previous results uh, makes 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 us think that uh, he's. Really capable to to beat some big names, and and I, I I'm really interesting to see what will what what will happen in future. Same same uh, Morozo, same uh, Hermes Gasparini is hot lately now, and everyone want to see. I think Igor Igor went to yeah, to yeah, yeah. to Italy. They, they met in Italy, and uh, they they I don't know what they did there, but um... yeah, they they were just like uh, talking about top eight and some invitation, but. He needs some for I don't know how he can get him to play. I, I, uh, I think they will set up him versus Gennady if Gennady comes there. Okay, just a just a extra extra super match. Yeah, you know, or 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 something that would be because uh, we talked with Igor and he said it's not like he's gonna pull there. He still needs to qualify because yeah, because Igor is Igor is very strict about that qualification. Yeah, he want yeah. he want to make that system that you have to. You have to compete in Zloty Tour. You have to qualify. You have to win Zloty Tour to get in the top eight. And you have those eight names. And like uh, last two are, or last one is uh, dropping out. And or second for for end are uh, having a rematch with 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 uh, second place in the Zloty Tour. So so he he wants to make this system, and uh, that's why I believe he will not just uh, throw Hermes in in, in that uh, top eight. He will. Maybe make some qualification fight or, or make some uh, extra super match for him. Yeah, yeah. We we talked with Igor about it, and Igor said like that, that that's kind of the plan to do at least um, if if you know something doesn't go go as planned for this year, then just do some super matches. You know, have some some activity at least. Uh, and I believe Hermes is very in the picture right now. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, Ray versus Yanis. Who wins now? Who Ray? I win. I win. <laughs> okay. 
So we settled that. <laughs> uh, what is he? Oh my God, so many questions. But everyone's fighting in comment section. I don't know what about, but you know, something about Sanders. Everyone's talking with Sanders right now. Sanders, who cares about? Yeah, I don't. I don't know why why people care about Sanders at all. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably those are uh, Sanders. Also, uh, he's trolling and and. and... Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's all, all all that uh, Latgalian armistling fans are writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't, I don't like so many comments. Sanders was getting ready for uh, for a fight with uh, Andre Cipriano, and and, and uh, that that fight didn't happen because all, all those uh, flight tickets were cancelled. But uh, yeah. Sanders was actually in very decent shape. Very decent shape. Very good shape. Very yeah, I mean, good. We, met, we met him two weeks ago and, yeah, and he was uh, kicked our ass as very far. Yeah. 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 Raymond Santanovic and Vladislavs and me and Ray was there. And then Sanders was Sanders was ready. Sanders was ready. He was ready to fight uh, Cipriano. And uh, uh, sad that it didn't happen. But uh, yeah. maybe, 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 maybe some other day. But Sanders was ready. Yeah. <laughs> Sanders is crying now. <laughs> <laughs> how often should I train for arm wrestling and how hard you can go as hard as you can your body can hold up and you can train as much as you have time, free time for it no. <laughs> there's no one good formula for it you know yeah Yeah. okay is it is it biomechanics yes it's always biomechanics yeah. sure yeah. sure <laughs> 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 or is basic physics? <laughs> it's basic physics, yeah. Basic physics. <laughs> Biomechanics are basic physics. And you, you and uh, it's, it's. First of all, you, you should understand those physics. Not only say like it's basic physics, but you should understand those physics. Yeah, those basic physics. Yeah. 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 Mm. Take take a take a book and read. Yeah. Biomechanics versus basic physics. Which would I'll go with biomechanics. <laughs> What's the difference? Uh, What's the difference? What is biomechanics? What's the ba basic physics? Bio biomechanics are, are same same physics. It's same, but it's it's Human theoretically on principles. Yeah, on bio, we, 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 we say biomechanic when we talk about human. We say physics when we talk about some. Uh, uh, I have it's in English. Not sure uh, when when we talk about some uh, mechanical things more often, but. Uh, Theoretically, we can say physics ab about people as well, but, but uh, the classic terminology is, is when we talk about uh, hu human, human physics, when we, when, then we say biomechanic. Yeah, yeah, we don't. We don't in Latin, so who, who wins? That's the terminology, but it's actually same. Yeah. It's actually same. Same principles apply to it. Uh, so <clears throat> what's more important, Jans? Riser or pronator? Uh, uh, pro probably if we, we will do test in our gym, uh, my riser is the uh, weakest one of, uh, of all. And uh, I think uh, nine of ten arm wrestlers in our gym can, uh, can lift more through risers than I can do. So if, 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 I, if I talk about my own experience, I, I will say pronation is, is more important. If you, if you lose riser, you still have pronator, you're still in the fight. If I if I hold riser but I okay. lose my rotation, yeah. Okay, for for uh, maybe it's different for uh, some uh, cook arm wrestler or who is uh, going inside, but for me it's, it's definitely pronation. Yeah. yeah. And if 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 I'm pulling a low hand top roll, I'm not holding my riser sometimes at all. Yeah, it's like th there's been these discussions, and I'm always like, you you can you can do almost. You can do almost everything without your riser, but you cannot do anything without your pronator. For every move, you need that pronator support. So you can leave your hand down and do a lot of things. But it all comes down to what you use on table. If you don't use it, you don't need it, you know. Yeah. No. About strong riser and strong pronation, generally, that's, that's, that's why I have developed my uh, low hand top roll or, or, or low hand... Uh, style because uh, i don't have a strong riser i have a weak riser and uh, I, I i do what works best for me and uh, I, I sometimes don't care about uh, riser i care about uh, 
my my fingers. I, I care about my my wrist and then pronation. It's yeah. it's I, I, of course uh, uh, it would be great if I would have a stronger riser, but I don't have. I I, I have tried to train it, but it's not uh, not everyone is uh, responding the same, and my riser is not not so good. Even my left arm riser is better. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, best way to train tendons, heavy or high reps. Tendons train with everything. With everything we do, it will add tension on tendons. We just, when we arm muscle, we impact them much more. So it really depends on how you recover your tendons for them to get stronger before you keep adding tension to it. If you keep lifting very, very hard and don't get yours, like if you will do something every day, most likely you will have some tendon problems, you know, or you will survive, you know, or you will be that 1.1%. But it's, uh, we, we don't, like everything we do will hit on tendons. We, we will do, if it's heavy pull, you know, lifting heavy weights will add the tendons. Doing plyometric work will add the tendons. And even doing 20 reps will add the tendons. Yeah. Tendon, tendon is, is, a, is a muscle connection point. Muscle, muscle, muscle are uh, connecting with tendon and bone. And uh, theoretically, to, to have a stronger tendon, you need to have a stronger muscle. To make a bigger load on tendon, you need to make a bigger load on muscle. And uh, generally, maximal strength uh, exercise, maximal strength loads makes a bigger stress on tendon. Uh, those those lot of repetitions they are making more blood flow, making more uh, endurance work. They they are uh, more as a healing exercise for for uh, soft tissue, not so much uh, usually as strengthening. For strengthening, still you need that load. So yeah. That every like uh, soft tissue have some uh, specific uh, capacity to load that stress and. Uh, if you want to get stronger in your tendons, in your in your soft tissue, you yeah. need to load it. Yeah. And those, uh, those fifty reps are for recovery, more because you there's 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 no blood going in them, so you need that blood pumping yeah. around that muscle. So you have and uh, and theoretically, uh, there are same old same old principles as in every every strength training. Same for tendons, same for muscle, same from soft tissue. You need those max effort uh, st uh, strength trainings. You need those submaximal strength trainings. You need those uh, high rep, uh, low low uh, low intensity trainings, and uh, you need to mix them all together to to get the better result. No no one way training will make uh, wonders. Yeah, there's there's no one perfect training system uh, or program system. Yes, program no. But you need to switch yeah. up, you know, how you do your exercises. Is it? it yeah. yeah. Everything is working. Everything is working, but it's not working forever. You can you can do different things, but if you do same 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 thing over and over and over, it will not work. So everything is working, but it's uh, you need to change. Yeah. Um, I want to get this comment in from uh, Costa Din Crasimiro. No hook, no glory, and top roll is for pussies. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds exactly like Crossing Beer does. Like top roll. Top. Yeah, I, 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 have, I have heard that from Crossy, and and, uh, <laughs> and uh, that's that's yeah, that's uh, that sounds absolutely like, like he, he's singing and like Crossy, and uh, yeah, and uh. But in, in, yeah, my, in my eyes, we, we uh, don't need to answer this one. We don't need to in answer. My, in my, no, no, but I will. In my eyes, uh, that's that's the beauty beauty of arm wrestling that uh, that everyone is different, and and you can see great uh, inside hook arm wrestlers. You can see great top rolls. You can see someone who is capable to pulling with dead wrist. That's 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 the beauty of arm wrestling. That uh, and uh, the people with different genetics with different different. Uh, I will say again this word biomechanics with different anthropometrics, uh, size of heights and arms and uh, wrists, and they are each using uh, what is better for them. And that's that's what uh, is is good about sport, and that's what make it more fun and interesting. interesting. If, if everyone would pull the same, just go inside. Yeah, it, 
it, it, that would be like everyone's like, no, those hook wars would be interesting. We would get so used to it, and it's a bit like, ah, you know. Um, what is secret to Engen's top role? What secret? Yeah, Engen. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think that uh, there are some uh, huge secrets in in a sport. If if you understand, uh, if you understand arm wrestling, if if uh, if you if you are in the, in the, in in the sport that. Uh, there are no big secrets. Arm wrestling is strength sport. It's strength sport, and it's uh, you need the ability to coordinate that strength. And Engin is great about uh, those two things. He have a uh, very good uh, static and uh, optimal position to 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 uh, to use that strength, and he's very well coordinated. and And he's uh, in a sport for uh, thirty years or. or at, at least, at least uh, almost 30 in a WAF, WAF level, in World Championship level. So if uh, he, he knows how to apply that strength and uh, if he will find some weakness in your, in your style, he will use it. And yeah. uh, that's, that's not a secret. Uh, he just, he just has de developed his style basically to perfection. Like... like uh, from from ready to you know from go to till the end, it it looks similar almost all the time. If everything's working, you know he, uh, yeah. But uh, not in in a, in the last years. In the last few years, Engin is pulling uh, more different. or less similar, and uh, he is not uh, using so much some different styles. Generally, because of uh, health issue or because of injuries. 2015, he won a almost hook fight in a final against uh, uh, Ahmed from, from Kazakhstan uh, yep, yep. In, in 70 kilo class. But uh, after that, I haven't seen Engin using much hook. Before, he was more, much more uh, pulling in with side press, much more uh, using using side hit, even even, even inside. Lots of times uh, lately, it's. Uh, you you use what you can and you and uh, you use what is wor working for you for you for you and uh, and right now Wengin is uh, great about uh, pronation great great about hand control. Yep. Um, I want to get in more comments from uh, Kostadin Krasimiro because he he wins the common game. He's like, we <laughs> we recover at afterlife. <laughs> no rest here every day eight times per day. It's, I love how the, how these troll accounts are so consistent with the name <laughs> of everything. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, Mindaugas, and I believe that is Mindaugas. Mindaugas their sites. How strong is Jans now? How strong? Uh, Jans is strong. Uh, uh, uh. Off season, yeah. <laughs> Which yeah, is I am, strong, I am yeah. training. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know. Can't can't compare. Maybe just with a few Latvian army slurs, But uh, if you would ask me if I'm ready to pull uh, world champs tomorrow, probably no. <laughs> I need. I need. I need to focus more and, 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 yeah. and train more serious and maybe maybe maybe, maybe get get uh, get a little bit uh, I, don't, I don't know healthier or, 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 or goal everyone, or want to have some, some like, yeah, yeah like if, if they would set a date Giannis would be ready and would be 99% um, of his best shape I believe like when you give the day because we've, we've been we've been just like floating you know nothing's going around and we we even like here we cannot even see <laughs> when the match will happen usually you have dates you set up dates and you're like okay i will train for this one for that one and you have to be now it's like <laughs> we're just waiting you're like mm, no not yet so mm. yeah uh, it's motivation but for mindogus uh mindogus know, knows where our gym are he has been before and and uh just come and check, and then uh, we will see. We will see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are always welcome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. As soon as you can. 
we'll wait we're waiting for you um how should you fight against someone with stronger side press use more back pressure and take their hand if you can if you cannot there's nothing mm. you can do you know it's it's not that you're gonna fight in side press with them you know if if they just yeah se- se- separate separate his arm away from body and then yeah. he will lose that side pressure and every 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 millimeter every centimeter he will lose in his uh his angle his side pressure will get weaker so if you can open his angle or separate away from uh, from body or, or turn his rotator or turn his wrist and side yeah. pressure is gone <clears throat> okay uh, do, 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 do. oh man so many comments uh, okay <laughs> so i i i don't even want to read these <laughs> It's like <laughs> Rasimir again is strong. <laughs> no, it's like everyone's like uh, ask Giannis about exploding thumb technique. Yeah, that's that's a technique you should ask uh, my friend uh, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew Rhodes, yeah, <laughs> he will he will show you gladly. He will show you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's who who need to talk if he can show. That's <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it's so. One children fighter in Latvian. Okay, everyone's talking that um, it depends on our training. Is to do that. Yeah, um, Michael and, and, and Devon. My, Devon is very active going around training. I'm hearing good things from, from people you know that he's training with. Um, I don't I don't know if he can be ready, you know. You need power to beat Michael. Michael looks so ready. Yeah. It's it's uh it's actually great to see uh, Devon as an underdog. It's not happening often l- lately. That uh, okay against maybe Sipilenko and or so, but but still uh, in 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 many people minds uh, Devon is underdog right now, and uh, it's good. We will see how it's how yeah. it's going. Yeah, yeah. Because like I believe Michael is coming in with more hype and everyone's behind him. Like I, I did a poll on on give me a second. I did a poll on asking just Travis versus versus Michael. It's like 80% from 2000 people believe that Michael will win. <laughs> and, and the comment section is like, who who is giving any chance to Travis? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? So yeah, I think people right now are more behind Michael than ever. So that's 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 great. Less less hate. Um, to do to do to. I'm told that was okay. Doesn't know what this is. Jan is in hook strong. Uh, Costa Din Crasimiro wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if we compare with. Uh, Krasimir probably no, <laughs> but uh, yeah. I can I can pull in a hook. It's uh, if uh, if if I have to, I will pull in a hook. And uh, Tom Holland did I pull a hook hook with Tom Holland? I think uh, it was uh, it was more it was or less more back uh, pressure. It was more back pressure. It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was it was it was yeah. it was uh, inside and uh, you pulled you pulled with. Um, Justin Bishop in a hook. Yeah, I, I won. I won in. a hook with Justin Bishop. Yeah, yeah, I, I won with, and uh, not even once. I think it was in a uh, in uh, UAL and also in WAL as well. I went in went inside. I think once and yeah, but uh, I, I have I have won uh, many fights in the hook as well, but. Of course, uh, it's not my favorite style, and uh, I prefer to pull uh, outside and and then to pull top roll. But yeah, me too. It's a uh, it's it's not that I'm uh, not not training in hook. I I I do pull in a hook in a practice time to time, and uh, I believe it's it's you need to have some uh, plan B or plan plan C or something. But uh, it's a uh, it's always a question uh, to make your uh, weak weak links or weak style stronger or make your uh, strong style even more stronger. And I'm a believer of 
make make the one style which is working good for you yeah. make it make it supreme make it perfect yeah. and and you don't care about hook if you if, if no one is getting a hook who cares but of course i'm uh i'm i'm uh do 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 uh, like uh some part of my my training i i, I do i do develop my strength of inside inside arm wrestling as well just a little bit but it's uh, again people are thinking that arm wrestlers you know should arm wrestle every, it's like usually you will fight in a hook versus someone who can beat you where you are strong so if you're pulling a hook puller and you know and, and they can take your top roll away and everything else you know that maybe but most likely even then you will still try to top roll them you know but if you're pulling a top roller who has better i don't know post or pronator or hand on everything you might end up getting in hook because he might be weaker there because he's doing the same thing to you so it's usually it's it's not like <laughs> this is 100 and this is 95 percent. it's it's usually different you know you will I don't yeah, think... it was it was similar the first time with uh, Justin Bishop when uh, when when uh, we get in a hook and also I think uh, some years ago with uh, Plumbing Dimitro I pulled in uh, Zlotitur and 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 he he's so good with uh, top rolls that I, I I was able just to catch him here with uh, this defensive uh, defensive technique and and, and then. Uh, uh, I had to pull him back in in a hook. That was a long time ago, and when when Plumin was young for those who <laughs> don't know, probably 2011. I don't know, 2012, and maybe now. Zloty or no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 2012. Yeah. 2012, 2012, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was a question about um. What do you think about Devon Lara training three, four times a day? Is it too much? I didn't know that he was training three. I, I, I know he just walks around the house and <laughs> does some wrist curls or anything. Like, if you're used to, why, why would it be too much, you know? You know, if you're used to it, you know, if you would just... We will, we will, we will see it in a, we will see it in a May, in a, in a, in a fight against uh, Michael. Michael, that's a, uh, it's uh, it doesn't matter uh, like best te best uh, best technique or best uh, training style or anything. It's it's uh, what works for you or or uh, champion style is best style. And uh, if he will win, then it's working for him. Yeah. Our but uh, if uh, I I, be I believe uh, you can't. Or, or you, you don't need to train uh, three times a day doing same thing over and over and doing every time it uh, with max effort or or, or 100%. I, I, don't, I don't see uh, theoretical or, or, or uh, science under it. But uh, of course, I'm, of course I, I'm familiar with uh, Bulgarian strength training and uh, weightlifting strength training where, where when you are doing your uh, days uh, max effort or weeks max effort or, or uh, four five six eight uh, time max efforts a day and that you need a specific uh, at least to do this yeah um Janis, who's your favorite arm wrestler and why <clears throat> G it's, 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 give me give me 20 yeah that's that's yeah uh, it's uh, uh things are changing as well and uh of course uh, there are periods when when i look at someone and say oh that's he's he's great right now when i love to watch him but uh uh overly overly uh in all, all those years uh Cvetan Geshevsky and Engin Terzi those are my two Favorite arm wrestlers, uh, arm wrestlers. Uh, I love to watch arm wrestlers. Uh, I I love to watch when I started my career, and uh, I'm happy that they are still both going strong. Um, time to time, I hear that uh, one of them are talking about ending his career, but uh, but I hope it will not happen. Every other day, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, they both are uh, most successful uh, light middleweight arm wrestlers in, in the world as well, I think. So uh, how can you not like them? Yeah. So M Mark gave us $5 and asked, in a, <laughs> did you tell Cobra Road's story? What did he do to Giannis Tom? He held on to it a little bit longer. Yeah, we, we talked about it. We talked about it. So, uh, what he did to my tongue? <laughs> yeah, he he, he, he held on. Like when I talked with Cobra, he said to me, and and then like he's like, um, when when he was starting, there was no strap. You know, when he started arm wrestle, and they would always. You, you know this story? Or, or didn't they tell? Okay, you, you, you can you can you can tell you can tell. So when when they started and he was starting to arm wrestle, they always put them. Like the, if you start and you slip out, you start in a hook. And if you slip out again, they start in a really like deep hook. And he's like, he started, he was like 14, 15. And he's like, these guys are too strong. I cannot beat them in hook. So he's like, I'm going to learn how not to let go. And that, that's where his style comes from. And it's... and it's how to let someone sleep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, he's like, no one will slip with me. And it's like, he said at one point, he's like, and if you're trying to slip, I'm going to punish you. If I catch you, I will hold on because you, you are trying to slip away from. And he, that, that's where all that comes back. And he's he's so good without the strap, you know, on controlling that. And it's like very interesting where that come from for me when he told the story. It yeah. was unfortunate for you, Jan, but still... Yeah. Uh, for, for me, for me, I, uh, Cobra had a longer fight before uh, my fight with uh, Randy Byers, I think, and 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 I didn't took Cobra serious, and uh, I thought he's uh, more or less uh, tied yeah. before already, and uh, I take took a, take a grip. I felt that it's not a good position. He was too high. I thought, okay, I will just uh, go for straps and I, I will just slip out. And I was I was trying to slip out. He grabbed my thumb and Cobra is uh, holding your thumb and he's ro rotating your thumb. He'll, yeah. So he's generally yeah. like uh, like turn, turn, turning it. And uh, I, w I was going for 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 uh, sleep. And actually, I actually, actually uh, my, my elbow was probably jumping, but I think I, I even went uh, get get to sleep. And the fight should uh, should go on in a straps. We get to straps. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I put my arm again on table and uh, my I even didn't so, but my referee said, what's happening to your thumb? And I was like, what's happening? And, and it was a uh, tear here for, for maybe, I don't know, three centimeters or yeah, something. Was... Uh, we were, we were. I think we were going to Romania for Europeans with Ramon Santonovic and Mars Kalais, and we yeah. were sitting in airport in Turkey and watching it on phone. And I'm like, "What happened?" And like hour later, you send a picture, and we're like, "Oh no, oh no!" <laughs> yeah, and, and that and that scare was uh, quite deep. I was surprised that yeah. because uh, and it, it was okay with uh, with bones. It was okay with 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 with. Uh, but uh, the tough soft tissue was, was damaged, and I and uh, I I didn't put uh, scars on 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 uh, how it's in English when you when you stitches yeah yeah stitches I, I didn't put stitches in the USA I I was uh, I I went I went next I think next day we went to Chicago uh, and then after that after one more day after that we we were flying back uh, home to Latvia. And my uh, my wife's uh, uh, father is a, is a blood vessel surgeon, and 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 and, and I called direct him from USA. I called him and I, I showed him my thumb, and uh, and uh, he said, "Ah, okay, that's 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 small thing. Come home, I, I will I will fix it in a few minutes." And like it's nothing. And then I asked, maybe I can do it myself. I can I can uh, put put stitches and put together. He said. Yeah, maybe you could. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. And then I said, "Okay, I'm just joking." And I put my thumb. So when I went went home to Latvia, and right right uh, right from airport, I, I I took a taxi and and went to hospital to my 
to my uh, wife's wife's uh, father and and fi- he fixed it and but for a few months after that and WAL final 2017 was uh, just the months after that and i think uh, i was still damaged and uh, yeah, you you couldn't train you couldn't train like, no, I, I did some training, you but trained. of course not normally. And even when I went to went went to WAL final, it was still uh, the the wound was still a little bit open. It wasn't wasn't fully fully healed. So uh, I, I I was holding my thumb uh, clo- close close to my palm and didn't want it to open that fully. I, I was afraid and and uh, uh, from one side I, I wanted to pull Cobra one more time and. Uh, because because I, I think I can make it much different, but from other side I, I was afraid and uh, the, when when you lost you 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 get some uh, physical damage, but you get some mental damage as well. And <laughs> but that's a fight. That's a that's a moment of fight, and uh, uh, that's how it is. And uh, arm wrestling is a fight sport, and uh, injuries are happening. And uh, yeah. Yeah, pull and learn. You, you, Giannis is just part of that uh, exploding <laughs> Tom Joe forever. <laughs> like you, you cannot get away from it. Um, do you do you guys have off season or you train all year long? We train all year long, but we train more specific when we're preparing for something. I, I, th- I think I think we can say that. But we train like there's no. I took I took uh, two weeks off. Uh, yeah, how was it? Like a uh, few weeks ago, I took two weeks off, and it was first two two weeks off after I don't know how many years. Yeah. And uh, it's not easy for me to take uh, even even two days off sometimes. And uh, from one side, it felt good. From other side, uh, I don't know. It felt strange. And uh, and uh, yeah. to 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 start training again uh, felt even worse for me or elbows and, and shoulders and everything uh, so uh, I, I, be- I believe uh, you need to you need to change uh, something in your training routine you can't go all, all the time super specific you need to you need to uh, take some rest if you feel some uh, uh, some pain some injuries you need to change from specific to more general training or to do overall training do some uh, rehab training but uh for me i i don't like uh like one month uh to do not absolute nothing nothing one week no. yeah yeah i i don't like this I, yeah Giannis, I, Giannis, I, I'm, I'm like yeah like are we training he's like no i'm gonna i'm gonna take some time off i'm like what does that mean he's like no i'm not just gonna train at all for two weeks i'm like how is that because we never do it intentionally, you know, when we're traveling or coming back or ill or something, you know, you get sick and then, then you understand, we, okay, I cannot trade. We were, we were sitting in sauna and, and you asked me, really, you will be able to do this? You will, you will not, you will not call it like, you, you will definitely do something. And... <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't believe you. Like <laughs> every day, basically every day, something every day. He's like, I just did a quick workout at home for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, general, uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, of course, I'm not training arm wrestling every day. And uh, I, I, I do some general stuff. I do some rehab stuff. I, I go for a run or at least uh, stay active or go for uh, cross-country skiing or something. But uh, I love to stay active and uh, to, do, to do nothing. It's, uh, it's terrible. <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, what can you tell me to, to be thinking about when I'm going to the table for the first time on May 8th in pro- provincials competition? Because there's so much going through my head. Like, think about the one move that you're going to do. Don't think about everything else. If, if go with one, one plan. So I will try this. If you slip, you feel that doesn't work, you know, you can at that point change something, but be confident in one thing. I, I had this problem where I go to the table and I don't know what to do. And I'm like, I will just react what the other guy is doing. Well, like, oh, we're pulling like this. Oh, we're pulling this. But uh, think about one move where you feel strong and just do that move, you know? Yeah. Competition, competition is not the best time for some experiment. Experiment. 
it's uh, it's you sh you should try to do uh, all the same you are doing in uh, practices or in trainings and uh, if you go you should uh, you should uh, know already what you will do and you should try to push your style to open end not 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 like uh, let someone if uh, if he's going inside he will go inside if he's going top roll he will go top so so generally do what you used to do if you are used to war warm up in a training uh, do the same routine do the same warm up if you if you doing some uh, specific things in training and that's helping you do the same in competition do what you used to yeah exactly don't don't think about one thing don't think about everything else just focus on that if it's a slip if it's a referee grip you can think about something else but don't think about like where you know just think about one thing and just try to do it um i think you know we're we're pretty deep in yeah close to how, how long is it hour 10 minutes okay i think we will finish right, too last, much yeah <laughs> I, think, I think we will finish with the last question or maybe two uh what are your favorite foods <laughs> this is this this was one at the start but i just skipped it but i'm like nah it's not serious but it came back after an hour so you know um who who, who has that uh dvt <laughs> dvt uh, right now it's ribs <laughs> barbecue ribs <laughs> for me <laughs> as you can see <laughs> Giannis, Giannis, is a bit, Giannis is a vegan yeah 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 at least he identifies himself while he eats meat <laughs> um, I'm not a vegan I'm not a keto I'm not a uh, uh, who else I, I can be I don't know I, I, I try to eat uh, I try to eat uh, as as uh, much natural as possible and as as uh, good as possible in my understanding. But uh, what what I what I love is yes, meat, good fish. Uh, I don't know what else. Uh, that, that, that's enough. Food, I love food. Yeah. There's there's a follow up on that. <laughs> Giannis Ray said, "I don't I don't remember when I said this." <laughs> Ray said you would have no chance in an eating contest versus him. <laughs> Is this the case? <laughs> eating case. Uh, if we're talking about ribs, if we're talking about ribs, uh, a few weeks ago we, we, we sent the ribs uh, from from uh, one, one restaurant and uh, I was ordering ribs for my whole family. It's uh, I have a wife, I have three kids, and it it's was one point uh, five kilograms. One point five kilogram of uh, ribs of uh, pure meat, and and uh, it was it was it was good ribs, and it was enough for my whole family. And uh, and uh, Ray was ordering the same uh, same amount of uh, myself. <laughs> and I, I was calling uh, a few hours later, uh, and I, I was I don't know what I wanted to ask, and I was wanted to talk about something and. You were not picking up, and I was calling a few hours later again, and and you were. Oh, oh, I just uh, wake up and. I wasn't. <laughs> well, I wasn't food coma. I wasn't food coma. I ate the whole batch, and that, like, there's a lot of sugar in that uh, sauce, barbecue sauce, that they glaze them, and I was just like, <laughs> out. Wake up. It was meat coma, meat coma. Yeah. Meat yeah. Coma. Um, so about food contest. Mm. Um, I, I believe I can take you on easy, <laughs> easy. <laughs> um, yeah, there was some questions about events in Latvia. So right now we don't know anything because we have like uh, the guy asked us, you know, when any events or nationals or something like we don't know. As soon as government will say not something, not allowed yet. Not yeah, allowed. Yeah, it's not allowed. Some most training is not allowed at all. So. Yeah. As soon as they say we will do something, because people are asked, the one guy is asking about the uh, Wasserslausens that we had in in summer competition, and uh, they asked about the international compet competitors. We did some super. It was a good event. It was a really good event. So we, we might do something again like this in our gym and just host it, do some super matches, things like that. Right, right. When, when we something allowed. will be allowed, uh, we will yeah. do. You will know. Do. You will know yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, Benjamin McCabe, $10. Uh, appreciate you guys very much. Yeah. 
Le- hashtag legend Giannis, hashtag someday legend Ray. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's how we will finish up. Uh, so, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Yeah, stay strong and love arm wrestling. Yeah.